So for today's fun project, we're going to add this uh, filter in place of the one in the G uh, uh, shower drain. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Get my, uh, my bath mat. When you run the pump, it's supposed to suck the water through. The hole in the floor. And you want to have something like a hose filter, but it gets all gunky. I mean, really seriously nasty. And it gets to the point where it is so clogged that the suction from the suction that the pump builds up literally holds this down to the um, hole. It, it, it holds it down from the suction. And uh, you can break the suction, but then of course all of this gunk is going to get in your water from showering, um, you know, just like uh, bits of clothes or wedding, whatever that comes off. Um, it collects, it builds up three or four showers, and this thing is completely caked and water won't go, water won't drain. So then you got to pull the math mat up. You got to do that. It's just, it's just a whole rigmarole. It's a whole pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to leave this completely off. I'm not going to use these anymore. And instead I'm going to install this in line under the sink next to the um, other one that clogs up also too fast. So that's gone. I'm gonna put that back was. And now we're going to move over to the sink, uh, under sink. Okay, so this is underneath the G sink. You have to pull up the um, uh, board here with the hole in it. Um, with that hole. Pull that up out of the way and you have access to the suction pump that pulls the water out of that drain. It comes in this hose through this filter apparatus and then out the other side and a hose that dumps it into the um, gray tech. Now if I undo this, see if I can get that without knocking the camera. There we go. If I undo this filter, this filter is similarly nasty condition. Um, and this is with consistently using those other smaller filters on the other end that clog faster. Now this is a decent sized filter, but it is not enough to handle the amount of gunk coming through the line. It's just amazing how much gunk there is. Now by comparison, the new filter is a whole lot bigger. Um, it's also, I think, a little coarser. Um, as in it's not quite as a fine of a mesh. Maybe it's the same mesh, but I think it's a little bigger. But that's okay. I want to catch the big stuff on this one that is so many times larger uh, surface area of filter. And then anything smaller that it gets through goes to this one. So this should now take a whole lot longer before it clogs. And the next trick is getting these filters in line. So let me put this one back in place. You gotta kind of counterintuitively um, spin it the other direction because it's upside down basically. So I'm going to detach this fitting here. And that's just a regular, um, it's the flex hose style. But this is not under pressure, so I'm not worried about it leaking with plastic um, PEX fitting and, and the regular crimp ring. I'm going to try to push that out of the way a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my filter and I'm going to attach it onto, with the, the body out there, I'm going to attach it on here. 
and that's not getting tight. So I need to put some pipe gunk on that. Either um, fluid pipe gunk or uh, pipe thread tape. One of the two. Let me go see if I can get some pipe thread tape real quick. Alright, so back with the pipe thread tape. This is just standard Teflon tape uh, used in multiple instances where you're trying to seal between two things that have threads. And it gives it enough thickness and enough material. Make sure I'm going in the right direction here. It goes in that direction. I'm going to go this way. Feel that tighten up. It's getting better. There. Ooh. Oh, the whole. Okay, I rotated the other filter slightly. That should work. And now what I'm going to do is put a, a three quarter, happens to be brass, nipple. Gotta love the uh, plumbing technology. Oh, wait a second. I should put uh, pipe thread tape on this too. So let's do that real quick here. Anytime you're depending on threads to seal, it's a good idea to have the thread tape. Now, this other fitting here has a gasket ring in it. That gasket ring will push up against this end, this other end of the um, brass ring, and that will seal that end. But to make sure I don't have any leakage here, I'm going to use the tape. So I'm going to screw that in. And then we run that set over the top so it gets much length of hose. And then try to get that attached. There we go. Not the easiest thing to do in the world. Is my as is my uh, practice. Some of these mods we end up doing on the road. We're currently at a Winnie B rally in Georgia. All right, that's that. And then this should fit on here. I go run some water. Got quite a bit of water in the basin, and I put the switch on. You should see. Water comes through there too. Kind of sort of. Yeah, I can see some water right in there. And I don't have enough dirt collected yet. But we're definitely sucking that dry 
This hopefully will be the final solution to the problem of the hassle of cleaning out the shower drain on the Jeep uh, Travado. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, we'll report in in the future with uh, uh, the results of this test.